Hi Aquarius, welcome back to Ladybug Testimonies. This will be a general read, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I'm glad to be back, glad to have you back. So <clears throat> thank you so much for your patience. Um, I only work on God's time, so I I can only operate on God's time, okay? I like to be in one accord, Aquarius. But <clears throat> once again, thank you so much for your patience. I truly appreciate it. We're going to head straight into prayer. I did pull your cards out of the Tell Me Tarot. The bottom of the deck is the Tower moment here. So, but we're going to go straight into prayer. Okay, 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 Aquarius. So we can get our words together. I'd like to take this time and thank the universe for the sun, the moon, the stars, the light the balance, the protection, for the love, for family and friends. We'd like to ask the universe for balance, protection, love and light and clarity and truth. In Jesus' name, love and light. All right. So, Aquarius, sun, moon, rising. Like I said, this is a general read, so don't try to make it fit. Just let it flow. Bottom of the deck was the tower, okay? we That's Aries energy, but this is exposure. This is something coming to a change that you could not you know, stop. This happened out of nowhere. This change, this um, disaster, whatever it was, it came out of nowhere. It was most definitely God, the universe, reconstructing, helping you rebuild in a sense, okay? The overall energy around you, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, is the death card. This is transformation. You could also have a Scorpio in your energy as well. We're clarifying out of the Archeon Tarot. Okay. I knew that wasn't going to work. Let's see. Sorry, Aquarius. Sorry, 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 sorry. Just trying to do... Trying to do a little bit of everything at once. <laughs> okay. Trying to make sure everything is everything. Okay. You understand Aquarius. When you got to reach out and, and talk to everybody and communicate. Make sure your circle is good here. Make sure that status is good here. You know how it go, Aquarius. But there could be a transformation in your status here. And whatever you was building. There's a change in your finances here. There's a change in the relationship, Aquarius. Sun, moon, and rising. Let go of past patterns people or activities in order to allow renewal and personal growth here okay transformation and renewal i gotta put this out there though someone could be passing aquarius sun moon and rising here someone is transforming and going up to <laughs> you know they're ascending literally okay but the overall energy there is something new coming in New people, new friends, new jobs, new status here. God is like, the universe has taken or will be taking the things. This is in the, the energy. Will be taking the things and reconstructing them. Building something anew here. Giving you a new opportunity here. Okay, Aquarius? There's something new coming in. Or something new starting. Or something that, I got to put this out there as well. Something that you was starting, Aquarius, it's now being changed. It's now being transformed so you can create, okay? The mental conflict is opening up and expressing yourself here. So, or, or some of you have been opened up and some of you want to close back up here. You feel like you could have expressed too much. You feel like you could have put yourself out there too much here. And some of you are closing up about this transformation. You're not really telling everybody what has changed about you. Destruction and transformation take place to allow personal growth. Use your intuition to seek change here. Yeah. Some of you are experiencing a breakup here. Could have been dealing with the, a Scorpio here. But some of you are experiencing a breakup or something came out about a, Scorp a Scorpio. Something came out about a relationship as well here. And a decision most definitely was made due to this change. That's a lot of change. We got change at the bottom of the deck. Change the mental conflict. Change in the energy. But it's all beautiful change. So serious. So serious. I'll show you Aquarius. Even on your heart space, you feel left out. You feel like your money has been taken here. You feel deprived. 
You feel deprived and miserable as you concentrate on what's missing. Be grateful for your blessings. You need to take this time out and recognize the small things. Recognize what's in front of you. The things you do have, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Not the things that's been taken away from you, and especially if they're materials. Materials come and go. People come and go too, Aquarius. People come and go. Even if even if you are dealing with the death here, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, people have to come and go. You have to start over. You have to start a new life process. You have to do what you are. You come here to do so you can start a new life process, and that's easier said than experienced. But coming from somebody who has lost somebody who who has lost an Aquarius, I lost an Aquarius. Coming from somebody who has lost. Which I'm sure a lot of us has, but I've met people who have not lost anybody. But still, coming from that place, you know, you always in the back of your mind know that you have to pick yourself back up. You always in the back of your mind know that things will get better. It just all depends on you. It's not about what you're going through really, rarely. It's about how you feel about what you're going through. Okay, but let me show you about this change, though. Even with this death, this renewal, you have an opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles. Something could have come in that you, were, you weren't expecting as well here. The Two of Cups with this transformation, you have, I mean, with the, Ace, with the Queen of Cups, you have the Two of Cups. That's unconditional love. Some of you are getting your emotions together, getting your ego together as well. This tower here, we have the King of Pentacles. But yeah, some of your statuses, I got to put this out. Some of your statuses has changed because your ego was too big, Aquarius. Okay? And on the heart space with this Five of Pentacles here, with this feeling left out, feeling deprived here, we're clarified it is the tower. Some of you feel left out. Some of you feel like this change that has been created here has left you out in the dark. Like I said, some of you are experiencing a breakup here. Some of you feel lost. But if I'm the messenger, let me tell you, this is it, it may feel bad right now, but it will feel better later. Especially, and even if, I'm not even going to say especially, if you're dealing with a death, it's all in the way you feel. You can look at death either way you want to. You can look at it as a beautiful thing. These people are going to ascend. They're, they're getting out of this 3D and going into 5D to do another job, to do another wheel. They never leave us. Especially if you keep them up, if you keep their pictures up, if you speak about them, you keep their name alive, they don't ever go anywhere. They got to go do another job. They got to go be and create what God wants them to create and what God wants them to be. Because at the end of the day, it's all about ascending and doing God's will. So you can become a better person. So you can be a better person. You never know where this person was within their journey here. And they could have came to a stop here for any reason. Okay. And you can sit there and you can guess all you want until you ask God. Okay. What you need to be aware of is not making a decision here, sitting back and procrastinating. Okay. We do have the nine of pentacles with this independence here, but what are you going to do? We also have the two of pentacles with this making decision here. What are you going to do with these two people? What are you going to do with your children? What are you going to do about this friendship here? What are you going to do about the partnership? Do you still want to work with this person? You need to be aware that somebody could be coming in to help you, Aquarius. You succeed when acting on your own. Leave partners aside as your success is yours alone. You have, you are indecisive and have difficulty making commitments. Decide and commit in order to find fulfillment here. Someone could be coming in to offer some help, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And there could be a need for you to, to reach out to help people as well. On the other flip side, some of you just need to get yourself together. Stop involving so many people into what you want to do here and create on your own here. Yes, and I've said this before. Yes, more minds are better than one, but you come up with your best ideas alone, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And also be aware of taking too long to make a decision. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, Scorpio, Aries. We have strong Aries energy. 
And just to add, there's a lot of people here. Yeah, you most definitely need to speak your truth on what you want, Aquarius. If you want to be alone, if you want to start something, if you if, but you don't have to involve everybody. You don't even have to speak it. You don't have to tell anybody about what you're doing, really. As long as you're being honest to yourself, honest to your children, honest to your destination, honest to your journey here, then you can get where you need to get to. But you most definitely need to be speaking your truth. If you don't want to do something, Aquarius, then don't go do it. It's like not being a drinker anymore and you, your friends are inviting you to the bar. Don't go. It's not even It's not even a, a matter if you're strong enough or not. That's not a place where you want to be, that you want to surround yourself anymore. Aquarius, so why go? No, I'm going to pass on that one. That's... If, the, if your friends can't understand that Aquarius Sun Moon Horizon, if the person that you're dealing with, the people that you're dealing with can't understand that you need some time alone or you don't want to go back to that old you, then uh, that's a cage. That's not friends. If you can't really express yourself, you ain't surrounded by family and friends. You're surrounded by judges. Period. You need to come out of this anxiety here and most definitely tell the truth so God can give you this success. We had the King of Swords. This great communication here. Ten of Pentacles with the success. And the Seven of Swords with this lying energy. You most definitely need to express yourself and tell the truth here on what you want to create. On what someone has even done to you. If you feel hurt by someone... It's okay to tell them how they feel. It's okay to, to express how you feel here. Okay? But you need to make a decision and come out of this ego. Come out of this ego. Detach. Let go of anything that doesn't mean you any good. Okay? Let it go. And let it flow here. The results will come in, okay? Either by the Capricorn, a Libra, a Taurus here. But we have strong Aries energy. Oh, or about, okay, what to be aware of is this Taurus, this Libra, this Capricorn, this Sagittarius. Somebody could be a liar, okay? There could actually be two people that's lying. They feel, they they don't feel like everybody else feels, Aquarius. But you could, you could tell who this is. <laughs> this person doesn't hide it. They don't hide it. They're like, no, I don't want to go with you. No, I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to do this. No, I don't want to do it. Even if they do want to do it, they don't want to do it either with you. But they'll tell you, no, I don't want to go. They may not tell you why they don't want to go, but they'll tell you, no, they don't want to do it. And you could view this person as a liar, but in reality, they just don't tell you the full truth. They just don't give it to you the full truth. And that's you could take that two different ways. Like, I knew somebody, and that's funny because it was a Capricorn, but I knew somebody who would only give, like, half of the story. Like, for an example, this person was like, oh, you know, Roger broke down down the street. And everybody's like, what? Roger broke down. We got to get Roger some help. Everybody running around trying to find their keys. And this individual just didn't say, but they got a ride. <laughs> you know, it is funny because that's a true story, just not the true events of it. And it was crazy. I was, I was the person in the situation. I was like, but hold on, everybody, before y'all lose y'all mind, because so-and-so didn't tell y'all, Roger got a ride, though. So nobody does need to go pick him up. And everybody like, why you ain't say that? And this person is just like, well, you know, that's one scenario. The other scenario is this person just doesn't like to hang out with you, and they just haven't told you that, but they just don't. They'll make up every excuse. That is a Capricorn uh, mood too. A Capricorn may not come out and necessarily tell you why they don't want to hang out with you. They just give you every excuse in the book. Oh, I gotta write my book. Oh, I gotta do this. Oh, I gotta do that. And it's just, instead of just saying, "No, I don't want to go with you," 
I don't have fun with you. I don't really like you. You know, we don't have good conversation. I just don't want to go. A Capricorn will give you every excuse here. When it comes to Libra, Libra actually will go. They will go and still not have a good time. The Taurus will want to do it their way, okay? And they may persuade you, you know, like, oh, yeah, we can go to that bar afterwards, but they really go everywhere they want to go, okay? I don't even know why I had to break that down, but something told me to break that down, okay? And that's what you need to be aware of. Woo. Okay. Universe is silly. <laughs> the universe is silly. Okay, let me hurry for my phone dies. All right, so the most likely outcome for you, Aquarius, sun here, is the Six of Swords. You're most definitely moving away from conflict, and you most definitely could be dealing with the Scorpio as well. You receive help and assistance to solve a problem. Your situation changes from stormy to calm. This change that comes in, Aquarius, sun here, could be a really good thing if you move out the way. Okay? You got to move out the way so God can do his will. All right? If he told you to let go of something, let it go so this new cycle can come in. So this... So God can create you a new way to go here. Okay. Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo energy. You can't create where you are, basically. Okay. And God will put you somewhere else where you can if you allow the universe to. Because there's, there's always self-will. Okay. Okay. You don't always have to do the right thing, but I recommend recommend that you do it. Most likely outcome for you, Aquarius Moon here, is spying. Someone could be watching you here. Someone could be watching where you are, what you're doing here. Make logical new decisions to clear emotional chaos. Good time to begin studies. You are communicative here. Someone could be holding secrets away from you, um, Aquarius Moon here, and this could be causing you to feel left out here, but somebody's spying. And if this is you, Aquarius if you're the one spying here, um, there's a need to open up and express yourself and to tell people what you know and how you feel, okay? It's, it's not really good to hold back when you're ready to open up, but you're blocking here. You're blocking the painful truth as well. You don't want to open up. You don't want to tell people about what really happened, what really went down here, or what you know here. You're just good with collecting information, but you feel like the more, the more information you collect, the more that it can make you emotional, here and you do want to open up or you, the mental conflict is do you close up about this relationship because there's a decision that needs to be made in Aquarius moon you could be blocking out making a decision you could just be watching Aquarius moon but there's a need for prayer here there's a need to have positive thoughts keep positive thoughts Aquarius sun moon and rising here and there's a decision that needs to be made here about a relationship here there's there needs to be some communication maybe some finances exchange as well here because you got to get it together somebody could possibly want to be alone okay make sure everybody's on one accord and how you do that is to open up and express yourself Aquarius rising here, the most likely outcome for you is opening up and expressing yourself. Somebody could be coming in to argue that they, they've made a decision here and they know what they want to do. You defend yourself bravely and successfully. Cope with all obstacles thanks to your courage here. Somebody is standing up. I'm getting Leo energy. Somebody is standing up and defending themselves and speaking their truth, Aquarius rising. You just, I was going to say, you just need to be prepared for it, but you just need to be aware of it. Okay. Get your communication together. Don't get caught sitting down and being lazy and not being productive, okay? Because someone could be coming up to speak to you about how you did this and how you did that. Be ready for that. Yeah, somebody could just drop the bomb, Aquarius rising. What clarifies is three of swords. Somebody could, could be just dropping the bomb. It could be you as well, Aquarius rising here. This could be you speaking up and saying, oh, no, this is what really happened in the relationship. Universe said, pull one more. Yes. Aquarius, this could be you saying that you don't want to do it. That's the um, page of Pentacles. This could be you saying that you don't want to do it anymore. Or someone could be coming in to tell you that. They could want to take a break, not necessarily end it. And this could be you as well, Aquarius rising. You could just want to take a break and not necessarily end it here. But it, it's not going to feel good to somebody. Okay? And before we leave off of that, the energies we do have, we have Scorpio. We could have we have strong Scorpio energy. 
uh, strong Aries energy, Taurus, Libra, Capricorn. Gemini Virgo. Okay, we're going to get you some numerology advice. We're getting it out of the princess deck. Numbers and counting. With Mulan. Yep, and you know she didn't take no for an answer. Mulan went after what she wanted. Okay, she did break the law, but she went after what she wanted. I think in real life, I think she got in a lot of trouble. I think... It's tea time, Aquarius sun here. It's time to get things in order here. Because there's some tea, baby. About what you want to do. About the relationship you want. About who has been chosen as well. And what's that? Seven, right? Yeah. There's a spiritual journey here. Or a spiritual journey coming up, if I may say. No, there's a spiritual journey here. Yeah. You need to be aware of it, Aquarius. Aquarius sun and Aquarius rising. You need to be aware of it. Universe, what's the numerology advice for Aquarius moon? There's a new cycle here. There's a new journey here. There's leadership here. There's creativity. There's a new passion. There's action. Trust your intuition and your dreams, Aquarius moon. Universe, what's the numerology advice for Aquarius rising? Because there is something that is coming out, Aquarius moon. That's too many cards. Why don't they all like ones? I was about to say. Something is coming in, Aquarius rising, though. Some coins. Some corn, some new crops, some new investments. There's a spiritual journey here. I told you. Spiritual journey. Tea time. There's some information here, okay? Some juicy information coming in that could help you with your next area. It could help you get to the next area in your life if you allow it. If you speak up and you speak your truth and you, you talk from the heart. Yep, there's change. Trust your intuition. Advice is coming out of mindfulness cards. Universe, what's the spiritual advice? Oh, I'm running out of time, guys. That's why. It's not that bad. Universe, what's the spiritual advice for Aquarius Sun? What's the spiritual advice for Aquarius Sun, Universe? Justice. There's justice. You could be dealing with the law here. You could be dealing with balance and friends and partnerships here, okay? But just this. Work on your heart chakra. Speak your truth here. Work on your um your throat chakra. Clear out your throat chakra. Speak your truth. Speak from the heart here. Meditation and mindfulness invite us to be radically honest about what is happening inside us. And that invitation can be as challenging as it is beautiful. One of the most one of the best ways to encourage the sense of inner honesty is the practice of just this. Use this simple phrase to turn your attention toward whatever is happening in the present moment and meet that experience with acknowledgement, allowing and acceptance. You can even turn it into a bit of mantra to carry with you through your daily life. Rest in balance. Just this. Understand who the universe is. Understand how God works so you can work with God, okay? So you can be on one accord, Aquarius sun. Universe, what's the spiritual advice for Aquarius? Moon. The spiritual advice for Aquarius in the universe. The skill of doing nothing, Aquarius. 
the skill of doing nothing, sitting in meditation. Prayer is when we ask, meditation is when we listen and receive here. Doing nothing is a wonderful way to cultivate calm. And while it may sound predoxical, <laughs> doing nothing actually requires a fair bit of effort. Take 10 minutes today to step away from the usual hubbub of your life. Let yourself settle into doing nothing, giving whatever energy and momentum is around you the space to run its course. Instead of engaging and giving it more fuel, by staying steady and letting everything run out of gas, you can start to notice what remains once the dust has settled. Rest with it. Rest in balance. The skill of doing nothing. Speaking from your heart, speaking the truth. Universe, what's some spiritual advice for Aquarius? Rising. The spiritual advice for Aquarius rising. Universe. The spiritual advice for Aquarius rising is step lightly. Okay, clear out this fear here. Work on your base chakra. Work on your uh, your sacral chakra here. It's time to create. There is so much beauty in the delicate butterflies, snowflakes, and the little dandelion seeds that float along in the summer breeze. Spend a few hours intentionally moving through the day with the same delicacy, engaging fully with the reality of the world around you with an attitude that is more like a feather than a brick. Notice how it feels to approach the world with such lightness, curiosity, and joy. Aquarius rising. It's time to step lightly and it's time to believe and have faith here in what you want to create. Bottom of the deck, what do you want to create here? Speak from your heart. Speak from your heart. Clear out your throat chakra, okay? And I always send love and light. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, Aquarius, for more insight. If you would like for me to help, you can always book appointments. The description box will help you, and everything is below here. I will be working on the chakra videos next and also Mercury so we can figure out how to communicate through these tough times here, okay? Have a beautiful day or night, Aquarius. Love and light.